Hey KW Agents, Garrett Stewart here, your command console, and I'm so excited. You've asked for it. It's finally here. It's uh, quarter two's 2021 pl uh, consumer magazine that you can now create in designs today and be able to send it out to your database. So in today's video, I'm going to show you where you can find this, how you can create it, edit it, and personalize it to you, and how you can either have it printed or do a digital version like I have right here. So I'm uh, really excited to show this for you. So hopefully you can stick around. Uh, so to start off, you're going to log right into command. You're going to jump right into there and we're going to go right here down to designs. Once you go to designs, we're going to go and click this blue or teal plus button in the bottom right corner. And then it is a print uh, item. So we'll just hit print right here. And we'll go ahead and hit next. That's going to load in and it'll take just a second to boot into the designs editor. And right there, uh, so there's two places right now you can currently find it. Now, uh, that is as of today's launch, so um, I'm going to plan for it to stick around. But uh, it is going to be under lead generation and personally branded uh, zine sign, <laughs> I guess for magazine. Um, uh, or it's uh, under new designed collections. It's down here as well, planting roots. But uh, this one's where you can see last quarters and now this quarters. So um, what you're going to be able to do is just hover over it and you're going to hit use. You're going to go right into there and it's going to just boot in to start creating it. Now, if you've created uh, either like the listing presentation, the buyer's presentation or the last magazine, um, you're going to know that you're going to have these templates over here available to add them into this builder. Now, a couple things to take note of uh, when doing this. Now, if you there's 16 pages available to download. If you are planting planning to print this out like a magazine, you're going to have you're going to want this printed. Um, it needs to be in multiples of four for pages because it's going to be the front left front. Uh, front right, uh, back left, back right, that's four pages that it's going to be printing on one sheet of paper. And so they're going to actually, it's going to have to be in multiples of four to be able to uh, get this to properly print. Uh, so uh, either you're going to have to do all 16, or if you do happen to negate a couple of pages, you're going to want to get that down to 12 if you want it to print uh, and have it look proper. Um, otherwise, you might just have a blank page or something like that in there. So just take note of that and think about that consciously as you're developing this. Uh, but if you're just going to do it digitally, then that's fine too. You don't have to have a specific number of pages to have it print or since it's not being printed. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is you can kind of scroll through and look through all these. These are your templates right here to add them in. So to add one into your builder, you're just going to hover over here and you can hit this plus button right here, which says add a new page. So that's going to drop in right here. And so we've got our front page right here. This is going to give us our opportunity to start editing. We can literally edit all the different things up here, even the picture. So if you maybe have a, a, a nice picture of you showing at home instead of that, like maybe this talks about planting roots and it's spring related. Uh, if you wanted to make it more personalized to you, your market or anything like that, change the photo. All you got to do is just go over to images and find a photo and you just drag and drop it right over this photo right here. Uh, so you can just again click images, you can hit add and you can search for images uh, right in there to add in there. So um, that's how you're going to be able to do that. You can change the text of this. Of course we're going to change the logos. So let's just do my office logo right here and we'll just drag and drop that right there um, in there. Now uh, you'll be able to uh, also upload anything else in there as well. So uh, if you wanted, let's just say, actually I'll go back here. So maybe I wanted uh, either my command console logo or maybe my just personal logo in here as well. I could just click on it to drop it in and maybe I'll just drop that right next to uh, there as well. Now I can change the text right here. Now I can double click it to go in here. I actually like to have select the text box here. See how I clicked it once and it's highlighted. You can click that typewriter button to more easily edit the text box. So uh, we can just do Garrett Stewart. And you know, I might just put your realtor instead of office name. I've already got the office right there. So um, something like that. 
or just put realtor or something like that. Um, okay, so we've got that right there. We're, we're ready to go for the next page. Now, here's a little tip that I like to do. Uh, it is under file here. It is on autosave. Whenever I finish a page, I just always like to double check uh, and just make sure we hit that save button just before we jump to that next page. And so uh, that way we're just always safe. Uh, you can also rename this right here since we're up here doing some edits. So we could just say Q2 Magazine. And um, I guess we got a Q2, there we go. Magazine and whoops, and we're good now. Magazine. Okay, it's kind of just split up weird, but it's fine. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're just gonna go from there. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is go back up to templates. We're gonna add in our next page. So we'll just click that little plus button and we're ready to go to the next page. Now this is the note from you, the agent or the team, however uh, you may be doing that. So you'll just actually look for uh, images and maybe you pick a nice headshot under my assets. Now this, the my assets feeds from your marketing profile, but it would also feed uh, if you go into the, the um, when you go to select the type of design you want after you go into social or if you go into print, um, things like that. When we look at all the templates available, you can actually click at my, uh, my assets at the top and you can upload more photos uh, like I have here. So I like this photo of me. Let's drop that one in there. And as you saw, I just literally clicked and dragged it on top of that until it replaced it. So now that we've got that, we, you know, we would just start replacing other things. We might, you know, replace the text, have my, my just my name down here. Uh, again, I just like that top text box. And um, we'll just put Garrett Stewart. Okay, perfect. And I would replace that logo as well, um, right on there. And and actually, we'll just replace it with my personal one. There we go. And I might make it a little bit bigger, something like that. However you want. And again, this is just a template. If you just maybe I don't want that text box there at all. I just hit the backspace one after I select it and it's deleted. So whatever you want, it's personalized to you. Um, and then you'll just go through and type a personal information um, thing to it. It has some inspiration for you. So whether you wanna just use this template, how it is exactly, then that's great. Just make those and have a few different personalization, whether it's my or our, depending if you're team or solo agent, uh, right in there. And then other than that, that's going to be it on that page. Uh, so now we're going to go back up to templates. We, let's just say we had finished this page editing it um, just for uh, your your time. Uh, I'm not going to change every little thing. Um, then we're going to go to the quarter in review. Uh, template is the next page. And um, and again, I'm just going to hit that save just as we've progressed through here. So here we go. This is going to compare the quarters right in here. So this has a, just a, a neighborhood snap market snapshot uh, showing what happened uh, for an area. So this has, this might be something that says insert neighborhood market snapshot here. So if you wanted to, if you're highlighting a specific neighborhood, you could do it that way. Or if you wanted to, you know, just maybe pick uh, a city or, you know, area, things like that. For example, I'm in Reno and it covers Reno and Sparks, Northern Nevada type area, whatever that is, uh, I would pick that right there and maybe do there. Then maybe focus on your company and show how well Keller Williams has done in your area. Um, you know, we're leading the way. Then, um, so we would just go in there and change all those numbers. You're gonna obviously need to go into your MLS or talk to your uh, broker, things like that, someone in your office to help you get those numbers if you need assistance getting those. Um, but that's uh, your opportunity to give a little statistics right for them. Then uh, once you finish doing that, of course, We'll do that save, and then we're gonna to go to that next page. So um, here is an article that is already written for you. Guess what? No changes needed, yay. <laughs> Makes it easy. Uh, again, you can ch add anything, change anything if you want. Um, a picture, if you have a nice picture with clients at the table, then sure, change it out. Um, but you don't have to, this is one where you don't have to change uh, anything it looks like. So then we'll click on that next page. Uh, and again, we're hitting that plus button to add it in here. Has some stuff in here. And 
again, we're all set there. We don't have to change anything. Uh, the only thing we're gonna have to change is here. So again, we're just going to images under my assets and you can, whoops, uh, drag and drop a photo you want right in there. Put your information um, right in there. And you know what, if you wanted to put your seller wins year to date, buyer wins year to date, uh, I know it's a little bit tougher this buyer's mar or seller's market right now to get some buyers. Um, uh, offers one, but if you put something like that, then that's great. But you don't have to do those specific numbers if you don't want to. Uh, but whatever you feel comfortable with putting on there, it's an opportunity to insert some more information. And then put in your website and phone number. Again, you click that text box and you can always just click that typewriter button to change out your information um, right in there. Once you change all that out and personalize there, we'll go ahead and I just, again, I just like to hit that save button just to be safe. And then we're just gonna move on to the next page. Now this is the page that's similar into the, uh, if you've done any of the listing presentation templates, this this is actually uh, kind of in there. So uh, if you've already created one, you might be able to just grab some of that data and information from that and be able to create it right in here. So um, anyway, with that, this will just is kind of a little bit of a uh, resume of, of you to put in here as well. So kind of brag about some of that uh, in here. And if you're a newer agent, that's fine too. You don't necessarily have to put all that stuff. Use some of maybe your, your office's information. How many years has KW been in your area? Um, you know, how many closings has have, have they done? Different things like that. You know, you know, talk to your office leadership and see if they have any ideas uh, of utilizing your office data necessarily uh, to go in there as well. Because, you know, not only are you an agent for yourself, you're an agent with Keller Williams, uh, you know, the biggest office in in, in the world. So uh, very exciting uh, to just use that data as well if you need it. And it does talk about, I love this, the YCT4T, just T2Ts. Um, so uh, I love that um, right in there. So uh, moving forward, uh, after you edit that, personalize it to yourself in there, you know, it has your office stuff all in there. That's fine. We're ready to go to the next page. We'll click that plus button and we're going to jump right to the success stories. This is an opportunity to brag about your clients um, and things right here. So uh, this gives an opportunity to put a headshot with the client. So maybe uh, if you're like me, I take Head or uh, pictures uh, in front of the house with them. Uh, so obviously get their permission. And you know, if you want to put a picture and then you put one of their um, uh, testimonials right there on there, um, you can put their testimonial of, of what they said working with you was like. Uh, and there. Now, if you don't have pictures of them or they don't want their picture, then that's fine. Maybe we'll just put a picture of the house on there um, that they purchased or sold uh, in there instead. Um, moving forward to the next page, uh, top home decor trends to try. Uh, so there we go. This is another um, article that's just already pre-written for you. So we're just going to continue. You don't have to make any edits on that. And we're going to move to that next page as well to edit um, two and three. And then one more page of four, five, and six of just different information in here. So um, I, I love all the information and value that you can add your clients with some good, really nice looking information. Um, all right. So on then we've got this next one is a featured listing. So if you've got a featured listing you want to highlight, I know listings don't last very long in this market right now. So it's a little harder one to maybe go for, but that's fine. You can still highlight uh, a really cool listing in your area and you know maybe it is a little bit higher price point might sit a little bit longer and might give you a little bit of opportunity um, or you know what hey you're advertising one of your listings even if it's already pending or going to be pending by the time you print it that's fine too um, so you would just edit the property information on here now here's a cool little thing if you're featured doing a featured listing page you can utilize the KWL, KWLS right here and then just type in an address right here. So uh, just for example, I'll just do one of my most recent listings. So I'll do 17536 Bear Lake. Um, and I could just type in an address right there and I just, I, I'm not even putting drive or anything there. I'll hit enter and 
we'll pull up property right here. Now, here we are. I found my listing right here. So uh, just it's been listed a couple of times before. So old listing stuff might pop up or some surrounding homes as well. So you might have to go till you find that specific property. You can hit select and then it's going to load up all the pictures of that property. So here's the cool thing is you can just drag and drop that photo right over the old one if you wanted to and it's going to just populate right in there then you can go into those listing details part and you're gonna have all the listing details in there uh, as well so you can go and then you can hit this little typewriter button and I can actually just go and be like okay this is listed at three hundred eighty five thousand dollars and you can kind of go back and forth so you just don't if you don't have that information right in front of you uh, you know I know an idea square feet but I don't remember 1624 square feet is exactly what it is so you can just pull that information in right in there as well uh, and put in all the specific data and hit save changes and right in there now that's all changed over I'll put the address in there put in a little bit of listing description which listing description is actually down here right at the very bottom uh, so uh, you can replace that uh, if the listing description part if you click that and then hit this listing description you have a replace button here now this is a this is a small listing description box here so I, I already know it's probably gonna be a little bit too long but we'll go ahead and hit it and you can see I, I the listing descriptions a little bit longer so uh, I might uh, curate it to a smaller amount of content to highlight it if I wanted to so uh, just take keep that in mind it's a just a smaller spot but you can just replace that listing description uh, right there I'm just gonna hit that undo button for now just to keep it a little bit cleaner um, okay so as we go and it's gonna reload in that photo in just a second I didn't like the undo um, and then going through here, obviously you're gonna put in the office information in there. Uh, be sure if you have any other restrictions for your office, for example, Nevada, you have to have a license number on it. Make sure you have a license number or um, any type of thing on there as well. Uh, it is not liking that undo, so I might hit redo just to be, there we go. Um, and we're, we're all back to uh, swear there. So, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Once we finish all of that, we can just go um, right into the next one, uh, next page uh, by clicking templates. And we're gonna scroll down to right here. Increase your home value with these 10 tweaks. Also one thing I'm do, we're gonna hit that save button again, just to be safe. Uh, perfect. Uh, this is another article. We've got three articles uh, that were written by uh, KW um, marketing team to have some nice value to add. Uh, so we'll just go right in there. We can just hit those little plus buttons to drop in those two pages. And then we get to hottest spring listings. Now, this could be one to highlight uh, current active listings or maybe, hey, you've sold some over. So you could just turn this into look what I've sold this year so far um, or um, you know has some top homes I've sold in the area anything like that and here's the thing you can use that same method of utilizing KW less each time so I would just hit that back button and then just type in the new address to search for it and then just drag photos in there all right there and you then you've got a great little highlight uh, featured item of all that in there you're gonna insert your uh, information right there as well um, and so it could be some different sold maybe a couple of sold maybe some are actives maybe some are pending you can mix it up a little bit and hey if it's sold you could even create a fun little text box across the top like let's just do I just click the text I click the subtitle and I could just double click in there and I just put sold uh, maybe I'll make it red so I'll just highlight it and I'll just fill do fill color and let's make it red right that's always fun. And then I could just drop, drop that right over the top of it uh, in there. And there we go. We've got highlighted it uh, a little bit that way. I can even just make it smaller if I, whoops, I could just drag that corner and I can make it a little bit smaller if I wanted to, uh, just so they could see more of the house. So uh, just an idea for you if you needed a little bit more inspiration as well. Again, homes are flying so fast in most areas I know that it's hard to feature <laughs> active listings for more than a couple of days. Uh, so once you finish this, we'll go ahead and we'll, um, I'm gonna just hit save, we'll go back up to templates, and we're gonna go up to this next page, which is ask an agent. So uh, maybe uh, one thing I would do for this one is because it's asking for a popular question, so maybe either you can create a question or hey, why don't you put it out on your social media page today? Say, hey, I'm, 
uh, doing a Ask an Agent feature question, what's a popular question um, around real estate that you might have a question of? And so, um, you know, whether you just use the question that's provided here, you can do that, or you can, again, reach out to your database and just say, hey, I'm looking for a feature question uh, in my upcoming magazine that's coming out in a couple of days, something like that. I think that's a great uh, way to go. And then, again, you just drop your uh, nice, pretty picture of yourself right on there um, and continue forward. So uh, once you've got that, we'll go ahead and go to the next page where it is the just focusing on the app. So uh, there's two options as of right now. I don't know um, if that was intentional or, or, or what. So that might change uh, since today's the day it launched. That might change it. But um, let's just say we do this one here with uh, insert your personal URL for the app code. Now, if you don't know your app code, I'm going to show you real quick where you can find it. If you're in command, I just have it open in a new tab and you go down to consumer over here. Uh, from consumer, you can actually click up here to site and app settings. From there, you click URLs, and there we go. I've got my app code right there. You can copy it, and guess what? Right on here, I can click that little text box, typewriter, and highlight that, and then I'm going to paste that right there. Um, I, I normally get rid of the HTTPS. I just like the that uh, just cleaner look for me, so um, I hit save changes, and there we go. It fits perfect. So um, uh, I would just drag and drop that logo on there as well. Um, and that would be the back side of my magazine. Now you notice it's 17 pages. Uh, the first page just ends up being blank because it was a temp. We didn't choose a template for that one. So I just hit that little down arrow. I hit the little garbage can, delete page one. And there we go. We've got all 16 pages right there. Beautiful, ready to go to share with the world. So uh, finally, we'll just hit that save one more time. And so now we get to the point where we have a few options. Now we have a great new print option from KW. Now, if you don't decide to print through there, um, then th or, there is not a print option on there. So if you click order print, it's going to say it's not available. Uh, it does have a download print ready PDF for you to use, which you can do, or you can just download it on your own right here. You're going to click download. You're going to click PDF. And let me get that out of the way. Um, PDF, all pages, and high, I would do high resolution print quality. Now, if uh, talk to whoever your print printer is uh, and see if they're going to need manual bleed or not, or any cut marks or anything like that. Uh, in most cases, you should be okay with just printing just all pages, high resolution print quality, and I've had good luck with that. Um, or sometimes I'll I'll have to do the print manual bleed uh, on there. So that's how you'll be able to download it. Once you hit start download, it's going to take just a minute. It's going to prepare your file. So you're going to see this for just a minute. You'll see it right up here. Uh, and then it's going to be ready to uh, go. Then just choose a local printer or, you know, someone online. I've set mine to, you know, like Staples or Office Depot, um, something like that. Uh, and they and you might need to go into their print uh, center just to ask to get the, you know, the magazine quality. If you're not sure on their website how to order, like a magazine style, that glossy one, then go in and ask, but uh, uh, check that out for sure uh, and see if that works for you. Uh, I think it goes uh, looks really nice to have a nice printed quality one on there. Now, if you're wanting to do a digital option to share digitally, uh, you can actually do this by clicking the share button right here and hit this the project. And right here is actually a, you can copy that, this viewer, and that's what I've got right here. It is a digital viewer people can click through right on here. So actually I'll just paste the new one right on there. And there we go. So this is the one we had. And so someone could just go scroll through and look at all of what you've created. So really cool way you can um, share this digitally. Uh, I'll be coming out with a smart plan email that you can do to share to your database um, in the next week or so. Uh, so stay, stay tuned to my channel for that uh, and be sure to watch for updates. Uh, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com uh, for more training videos and, and anything on that sort. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you're sharing that consumer guide um, in any of the comments and let me know. So thanks for watching. You guys have an amazing day.